Okay, good day and welcome to Beginner Intermediate SketchUp Drafting. Today we're going to be drafting a T-square. Now, T-square is used for manual drafting and we happen to have a few of them here in the drafting lab. So, if you have access to one here in the drafting lab, go ahead and, and get one and you'll be able to get a lot of your measurements directly from that T-square. If not, though, I will be providing you with those dimensions as we go on. So we'll go ahead and start up SketchUp. And today we're going to be drawing with the metric unit of measure. So we're going to pick a template and click on millimeters. Start using SketchUp. Okay, now that we have SketchUp loaded in metric, we are going to go ahead and leave Chris there for now. Again, we always leave him there until we're well into our drawing. We'll start by drawing the head of the T-square. Now, it's probably about the size of Chris's shoe, so we want to be zoomed in quite a bit when we start. So go ahead and start drawing the head by grabbing the pencil drawing tool. Clicking on the origin and going along the red axis, 290 millimeters. Then we're going to find the midpoint with our pencil and we're going to go click on that midpoint, go on that green axis, and we're going to go 60 millimeters. From that point, we're going to go to the right 32 and to the left 32. So we'll zoom in a little bit more and going to the right on the red 32 millimeters and then back from here to the left 32 millimeters. Press escape so that you can go back to this point and we're going to go along the, click on the origin not letting me. Let's try this other side. Okay, along the green axis, and we're going to go 20 and 20 on the red axis. Now, it might look a little bit funny because of your angle, but that looks good to me. Let's try back on this side again. There we go, 20 and 20. From this point here, we're going to take and learn a new tool. Under your arc drawing tools, there's a two-point arc. So we want to click on this point and this point. And you can see I can move. I want to be on the green axis when I move my arc, not the blue. or red axis will work, and we're going to type in 9 millimeters. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Click on this point, then on this point, and we want to be on the red axis and not 29. And there you have it. There's the beginning of the uh, top portion of the drafting T-square. Now we need to round out these corners here. And to do so, we're going to use, <clears throat> let's try that two-point arc again. Click on this point, and then we have that 20 point here. And we should be able to just zoom in. And we'll type in seven millimeters. Should have worked. Try again. Seven. Enter. There we go. Press erase. Click this and click that. Fit to screen. Oh, 
We still have Chris there. Let's delete Chris. Now let's fit to screen. And we'll do the same on this side here. So scroll in or zoom in. Get your two-point arc tool. Click on that far right corner. Then we're going to find that other point we went in, 20. Click on there, and then we're going to go 7 on face. That didn't seem to work. Try that again. 7, enter. There we go. And take our eraser tool and just run through those two points. I like to inspect it by just rotating around. Alrighty. Now the next part, part we're going to do is let's draw the blade of the um, of the T-square. So the center point is important, so we're going to leave that there. So from this point here, we're going to go to the right, half of 38, so that's 19. And it should make a little point there. Good. Now click on that point, go on the green axis. And we want to type in, it'll be 60 plus, hmm, my dimension didn't print out just one second. 60 plus 610, so that's 670. And then do the same on the other side. Click on this point. I just press escape when I want to move my pencil somewhere else, by the way. I was down at the bottom. Pressed escape. Now I'm going to click on this point and go 19 over. Click on that 19 point. On the green axis, we're going to type in 670. And now I'm going to fit to screen or zoom window and then just connect those two. Now there is the outline of the T-square. Well, this is kind of how we started like that. So let's work on the head first of all. We're going to start by offsetting this area here by six millimeters. So the offset tool is located right here to the right of your push-pull tool. And when you go and use the offset tool, you just wanna go to the area you wanna offset and you're gonna see that it'll highlight. Click on it one time and let go of the mouse. And then when you drag your mouse, you can see that it's gonna offset it to the value that I want it. So where that red square is inwards, I'm going to type 6 for 6 millimeters and press Enter. And I can do the same on this side. Click on that shape, go inwards, type in 6, and press Enter. From there, I do want this to be 6 all the way around, except for here. I want this to be 9. So I'm just going to get my pencil tool and zoom in there a little bit. And from here, I want to come in along this line we zoom in a little bit more and i want to add three to that so i'll just type in three press enter and then i'm going to have to find that point which is tough to do let me see i'm going to get my dimension tool there it is there's my three millimeter spot so i'll go back to that point click on it and then I'm going to zoom out and go along that green axis until it snaps to this point. Okay, and I can go ahead and I can erase this, 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 and that. And do the same thing on this side. We're going to go over three. Now, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to... No, that's fine. Just go over three, press enter, <clears throat> and then click on that point and go down until it hits that bottom. Erase this, these two lines and these two lines. 
Okay, so zoom back into that head. Now these portions on the right and on the left, we're going to take our sorry our push pull tool and push them downwards, and they're six millimeters thick. So type in six and press enter. And you can do the same over here. We have the tool. Click on that. Go down six. Enter. You'll notice these are hollow. So to make this solid, we just get our pencil tool and just redraw any one of the lines. And that should have worked. Let's try a top line. There we go. <clears throat> we can do the same over here. And you can see it underneath that it's made the shape that I want. So this top piece right here, we're going to get our cursor tool and click on it and just press the delete button on your keyboard. And there you have it. Not quite done because we have a piece missing underneath. So let's try just dragging this across to the other side. And that line is getting in the way. So I'm going to control Z that. And it wants to just go to that line. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'll do that one more time. Push pull this to the other side to make it solid. And we might be able to get our eraser tool and erase these lines now. There we go. Just orbiting to the other side. And the head of the T square is complete. Now, somewhere along the line, we lost this line. Yes, we did. So let's get our pencil tool and get it back. Because we want to extrude that upwards two millimeters. Now, this might be a line that we don't need. So we're going to just take our eraser tool and delete that. Mm. Let's try not deleting it first. Control Z that. Now let's push pull this up and see. We might be able to just do it in two stages. We want this blade to be two millimeters, so two, enter. And then click that, pull that up. You can just go on face and click. Now that has those lines I don't like. So let's try deleting those lines now. One, two, and three. And is it solid? It is solid. And there you have it. A beautiful T-square. I don't know if you can call a T-square beautiful, but I just did. Let's put our name on it. So we go to Tools, 3D Text, and You can pick a font that you like. I'm just picking Tahoma. And size. So we have a 38 millimeter blade. Height is 30. That's probably about right. Let's see what that looks like. Don't like it. Don't like it. And it's not rotating for some reason. But we can fix that. <clears throat> we can fix that. It's a little bit, a little bit gaudy. So let's control Z that, grab another one, 3D text. Let's try something fancy and make it maybe a little bit smaller. Let's try 25. Oh, forgot to put something in it. Enter text doesn't sound like my name. Align. That'll be fine. We're going to have to place it. And then I'll show you how to rotate it. To rotate it, you need the rotate tool, which is right here. And how, how this works is you have to pick two points on the image you want to rotate. So and the points you pick are the hinge points. So if I, let's say, picked... Why is it locked on me? There we go. 
if I pick this point and this point, it will rotate it this way. So that's what I want. So I want to go in the direction I want to rotate and type in 90. And it should turn it perfectly 90. Go grab my move tool and place it near the object. I always place it near the object <clears throat> and then I'll zoom right into it. And then I can fine tune it. There we go. Deselect, fit to screen. And of course I forgot to save this. Remember to save often, not at the end of your drawing. File, save as. I'm gonna go T square. And put it into your folder you're saving your stuff in. And there you have it. So I hope you learned something new today. Uh, that's the end of the beginner intermediate SketchUp lesson. And thanks for watching.